In the fish keeping hobby, one of the most exciting parts a fish keeper can go through is interacting with a newly known aquatic species that could be his next potential pet, am I right? Meeting different types of fish allows a hobbyist to understand that these aquatic species possess a variety of behaviors and traits to survive in their habitat. The hobby distinguishes fish differently from one another, commonly because of their behavior and roles. Some are labeled as predators, social, weirdly unique, territorial, and schooling. The first four are already obvious enough to explain, but you may wonder what the last one means. You may already be familiar with these fish if you've watched our video about the 15 schooling species. However, if you don't know, no worries. I'll explain what a schooling fish is later in this video. Because today, I'm going to share the top 10 large schooling fish that you can add to your tank as a showcase to your aquarium. Yes, you heard it. We're only going to be talking about the schooling fish that are best for the largest tanks. So if you're interested, it would be a big thing for these fish if you gave this video a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button to have a daily glimpse of their beauty or else this scary shark will haunt you in your dreams. Schooling fish were named because they stayed in groups for social and safety reasons. When we say schooling fish, you might be expecting them to swim around harmoniously and in coordination with others in the same direction. Several fish that belong here have solid social skills to move together to protect themselves from dangerous things, especially enemies or predators. Schooling fish are great if you enjoy seeing a group of fish moving in unison. However, I am aware that the larger the fish, the more we see them and the more vivid their body details appear. This is why you should start taking notes on your notepad, because now we'll move on to the first aquatic species. Meet the Frontosa cichlid, a semi-aggressive schooling fish that can be a good challenge for experienced aquarists. One of the schooling fish you can add to your aquarium is this large and boldly patterned African cichlid species, which has the recognizable feature of a large hump that mature fish develop on their forehead. These fish have five to seven broad black vertical bars on the sides of their bodies. The body color is white, blue, or sometimes yellowish. Despite being a semi-aggressive fish, it's not recommended to keep Frontosa cichlids alone. Since they are a schooling fish, they will be most happy if kept in a group where they can display their natural behaviors. And they'll probably be more exciting pets for the same reason. Maintaining a minimum of six to eight individuals in the home aquarium is best to reduce aggression. The ideal ratio would be one male to six females. Second on our list is the silver dollar. Jesse J might say, we don't need your money, money, money. <clears throat> but with these schooling fish, she will crave more because Metnus argentius has a body that's almost round like a penny with a silver color, which will give you a millionaire look aquarium at home. These peaceful yet lively schooling fish are best kept with three, five, or more of the same species. Silver dollars can grow to about six inches. That's why it'd be best to provide them with a tank size of 30 gallons and above. Suppose you want to add other species apart from the silver dollar. In that case, it's a good idea to choose tank mates that occupy the bottom of the aquarium, like plecos and doridids, because silver dollars tend to prefer the middle and top portions of the aquarium. Don't forget to give them water with a temperature of at least 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you know what a tinfoil barb is? If you need help, let me show you what it is. Tinfoil barbs are frequently seen in Southeast Asia's rapid flowing rivers. It is known for being a hardy fish with a peaceful behavior, which adds to the sparkle of its glittery body when seen swimming around the tank. This school of fish is best kept with six other species to see their beauty while floating around. A minimum tank size of 70 gallons with water temperatures of 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit is recommended. Offer meals containing vegetable matter, such as spirulina wafers or herbivore preparations, as the tinfoil barb's natural diet is primarily composed of plant material, including algae. Another large schooling fish on our list is the Pethia conconius, the rosy barb. These semi-aggressive schooling fish are one of the most popular barb fish. Rosy barb can grow up to six inches in length, which requires a tank size of 30 gallons minimum. Adding at least eight to 10 species of the same kind to your tank is recommended because keeping it in sufficient quantities can reduce the fish's anxiety and create a more effective, innate display. Additionally, males will showcase their finest colors as they compete against one another for the attention of females. 
When attempting to breed the rosy barb, it's ideal for pairing two females with one male. In the breeding tank, add coarse gravel, and when the eggs are deposited, take the parents out. After the eggs hatch in about three days, the fry should be fed baby brine shrimp until they're big enough to eat crushed flake food. The rosy barb requires a range of diets, including both meaty and vegetable-based fare. The fifth larging schooling fish on our list is Rosaline Barb. This fish has a variety of names like Denison Barb and Redline Torpedo Barb, but one thing is for sure, Rosaline Barb is much longer compared to the other barbs we featured in this video. They can measure up to four and a half inches, a minimum of 50 gallons is required, and since they're a schooling fish, you may add at least six or 10 species of their kind. Unlike other barbs, this fish is a calm addition to any big communal tank. Given their propensity to leap, they should be housed in groups in an aquarium with a tight-fitting lid. They prefer high oxygen content in aquarium water since they're naturally found in swift-moving streams. Rosaline barb can be fed effortlessly in the aquarium. Still, a balanced diet containing regular meals of tiny live and frozen foods such as coronamid larvae, Daphnia, and Artemia together with high quality dry items will result in excellent form and coloration for Rosaline Barb. Foods that sink are ideal. You've come this far on the list, Fish Keeper. Before we continue with the remaining five schooling fish I've prepared just for you, please give us a thumbs up and smash that red button to subscribe and be updated on our newly released videos about fish keeping. Going to our sixth fish on the list. If you're a fan of Marty, Alex, Gloria, and Melman, the Madagascar rainbow fish is for you. No, this school of fish does not resemble them, but Madagascar rainbow fish will make you think of these beautiful cartoon characters. This undemanding and non-aggressive schooling fish would perform best when kept with at least eight to 10 species of their kind. It'll help the fish feel less anxious and provide a more effective, natural looking display if it's kept in these reasonable quantities. Keeping Madagascar rainbow fish is easy if the water is well oxygenated and of excellent quality. When embellished with driftwood roots and branches, some aquatic plants, these fish will thrive, and in a four foot long aquarium, they'll end up looking stunning. After that schooling fish, why not try checking out other rainbow fish like this one on your screen? Meet the Bozeman's rainbow fish. Often found in Indonesia, any freshwater home aquarium will have a vibrant focal point thanks to the Bozeman rainbow. Males have a lovely head that is a bluish purple and fades into a beautiful orange and yellow rear. Females dazzling silver coloring, equally attractive against any background of plants or rockwork makes up for their lack of hue. A planted aquarium with lots of space for swimming is ideal for this calm rainbow fish. Giving them a tank that's at least four feet long is good in this situation. When housed in a shoal of at least six to eight fish, ideally more, Bozeman's rainbow fish do much better because they may be somewhat timid. They are thankfully undemanding and will eat the majority of dried, frozen, and live meals available for purchase. From our eighth schooling fish, if you like something that will complement your blue-green home wallpaper, the turquoise rainbow fish is one of the best choices. As a widespread freshwater fish, turquoise rainbows are well known for their eye-catching color and distinctive body shape. The body is lengthy and gets more profound as they age. Their bottom body is gold to silvery white in hue, while their upper body is a bright blue green or cobalt blue tint. The fish can appear in a variety of colors, however, they're typically observed in deep dark blue. In addition to blue, they also come in various hues, including tops that combine teal and cobalt blue. It's interesting to note that this might fade to a yellow bottom, silver, or green. When kept in schools of six or more, Turquoise rainbow fish can develop even more eye-catching characteristics. Their size may reach near five inches, therefore it's best to have a tank with at least 30 gallons of capacity. Next on our list is the Cynodontus catfish. This ninth schooling fish on our list is a peaceful one, with black fins emphasized with white borders, and its creamy gold body is spotted with dark polka dots and muted edges. The Cynodontus catfish will flourish in an aquarium of at least 30 gallons in size, with a group of at least four or even more single individuals of its species, and a fine sandy substrate with giant roots and hiding places for them. Keeping them in small numbers is not recommended. 
Due to their parameter requirements, they are an excellent tank mate to a group of hardwater cichlids, preferably ones that include mouth brooding species from the Rift Lakes. And since Cynodontus catfish is an omnivore, it will eat live, frozen, and dried meals. The last schooling fish on our list is the clown loach. Although clown loaches are active throughout the day, they will hide from strong light sources such as windows or rock walls since fast moving streams are their natural habitat. Clown loaches like aquariums with strong currents and water movement. Because a clown loach can grow nearly one foot long, larger freshwater systems should be used to house it. Although not very aggressive, please keep it away from smaller fish since their size and occasionally boisterous behavior may scare smaller tank mates. They do best in a tank size of at least 100 gallons, and they may be kept in groups of at least 5 or 6 specimens. The clown loach is primarily carnivorous, however they will consume vegetative stuff like soft-leaved aquatic plants. Aquatic mollusks, insects, worms, and other invertebrates can also make up the natural diet they need. Now that we already know which large schooling fish are available in the fish keeping hobby, some fish do school but like to be socially grouped, which you can opt to add to your tank. I will highlight the three of the largest available in the hobby, namely the angelfish. These lovely and graceful fish are well liked as community fish for aquariums. Since they're generally calm cichlids when they're not breeding, in a well kept fish tank, these robust tropical fish may live up to 10 years. Aquarium enthusiasts have been breeding these fish in captivity for years, and there are now wide varieties available. Next is the discus fish. The family Cichlidae includes the discus fish. Although this fish is a huge, striking, and beautiful freshwater fish, it can be a challenging fish to manage. Moreover, they require access to clean water. It's essential to replace the water often and use premium filters. Finally, the ram cichlid. Ram cichlids have brilliant red eyes, a black stripe running across them, and vibrant reddish-orange, red and yellow dots all over their bodies. The average swimming ability of ram cichlids allow them to quickly hide in their preferred locations and capture food to feed. It is lovely to have large fish in your tank because they shine in longer aquariums, which makes it more incredible seeing them swim harmoniously with each other. I hope you've learned a lot about these large schooling fish available in the hobby. Comment below if one of these massive fish has ever captured your heart. Smashing the like and subscribe buttons on our YouTube channel for more exciting information on taking care of aquarium fish will be the next best thing you can ever do for your fish. Let's see each other in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching.